Hi. Uh, welcome back to another, as you can see from the title, Universal Yums. This is the November box, and it is the Netherlands. Which, by the way, <clears throat> Universal Yums has changed their layout. How? And it's we actually really enjoy it. We do. It's very nice. Now, so. Uh, do you want to change up, because the boxes are smaller now for our scoring purposes. Do you want to like pick a, a definitive number between the two of us this time, or do you want to? No, I still like it, and then I think that, so there's best, second best, worst, and weirdest. Oh. I think we should cover that as we go. Okay. Like, at the very end. Okay. Because gotcha. it's actually... Gotcha. Right. Okay, so Here. basically we can use like one, as far as temporarily, we can use one column as me and one as you for our scores. And Yeah, and then okay. we'll figure it out from there. Sweet. So this is you, okay. and we will do the booklet later. Yes, we're going to jump right as in. As always. As, as we like to do. All right, what's first? These things? The fruit snacks? The snacks. red, yes. These? It looks like bacon almost. At least from like It little looks picture. like... Well, it's cars. It's it's gummies. Oh, it's a fruit snack. Gummy cars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to look at the book and see what mm. kind of like generalized flavors are? No. Let's just wing it. Okay. Fine. It works for me. If there's any confusion, we'll look it up. So these are little cars. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's cute. They're kind of big. They look they kind are. of like Swedish fish. They do. Mm. Very chewy. They're very. They're. It's yeah. like <laughs> it's it's the harder kind of gummy, so it's not it's not the soft gummies. It's kind of like like dots. It's stuck to my teeth. <laughs> no, dots are not that hard. I mean, it's good, but okay. It's wine. Wine gum met fruit smack. Mm. Gummy Cadillacs is what it is. In fact, it says it's uh, auto drop. It says Cadillacs on the on the packaging, which is very funny. Hmm. I like them. Um, they're very good. I, I, it, it, it looks like there's two different flavors. Mm -hmm. um, I mine was strawberry, I think. Hmm. Felt like strawberry to me. That was good. Tastes like strawberry. It's very good. Six, seven. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. We do seven. Seven. So it's a pretty consistent gummy, mm -hmm. uh, just like anything else. It is. Next up, we have the empty Dorito-looking things, like Dorito outlines. These. <laughs> yeah. They look like Doritos that they took the middles out of. They do. Uh, triangular. It's my assumption. And they're peppers? Paprika. Ooh, they smell. They smell good. Inspired by the swinging taste of Cuba. Okay. So, like the picture, um, they're a little smaller than I thought they would be. Yeah. That's okay. Wow. Those are good. Mmm. Wait, yeah, give me one more. They taste like sausage. I don't get that at all. To me, or like I hot can't. dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah, it's weird. It's good. It's very good. Hmm. I'm gonna call that. Hmm. An eight. It's an eight for me yeah. too. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Very good. Uh, I don't get sausage or hot dogs at all. That's just very yummy. It's very. Very savory, and the aftertaste is good. It has, yeah, it has good aftertaste. Mm -hmm. it, well, it, it, it could be something other than those two things. It tastes like meat to me, like as far as its mm -hmm. flavor. 
Not to me. Uh, but it's very good. What's next? Next up is this, which is Roca, the original cheese biscuit. Oh. Mini cheese crispies. Neat. Uh, it is what it is. Ooh, just... it's Gouda cheese. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh please, let's let's get in it. <laughs> it's like a rye crisp, almost. I'm very excited for these. This might be a ten for me. Mm. Mm. I should lose a nine. That's a ten. Yeah. It has the crunch, but then it's like the milk crunch. Like as soon as you crunch into it, it just melts in your mouth, and it's. Mm. Mm. I'm the only thing I'm sad about is that this package is so small. Mm -hmm. the, were there two of these? Mm -mm. There's that one. We didn't get any duplicates this time. Mm. 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 Ten. Hard ten. Mm. Next is... That was very good. So we're going to just kind of blast through these as, as we can. Uh, oh, yeah, that. This one, the Choco? Choco Stroopwafel. These are going to be phenomenal. I would assume so. I've had Stroopwafels before. Have you? Yeah, we went to Amsterdam. Oh, right. Uh... <laughs> Almost dropped it. It's look, it's 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 oozing out the little central caramel stuff. Oh, I'm so excited! Me first. You first. Go for it, dearie. Is it hard? Oh, that looks delightful. Mm. Um. Do you know what they kind of taste like, but a better version? You remember those little chocolate caramel things, caramel things used to be put in your lunch? The little individually wrapped ones? They had the cookie on the bottom, the caramel, and then... I do. And then the chocolate? I do. This is much better, but this is like a throwback. Now, I will say that the initial bite was, at least at first, just getting over the Gouda crisps taste. Because mm. uh, I didn't do any sort of palate cleansing water. But. Stop doing that. That's got to be another 10 for me. Those Agreed. Phenomenal. But here's the thing you can't ever go wrong with chocolate and caramel, or caramel, or however you prefer to pronounce it. Oh. Mm. So good. Next we have... Next is a long looking... Yes, that. What is that? Milk Orange Crisp. <gasps> this is straight up you, my dear. How do you open it? I am all about a couple of artificial flavors. <laughs> um, grape is probably the best in terms of like gum and... Uh, Soda, I would say. Um, banana is my favorite Laffy Taffy. Ooh. Um, oh, orange, this one's broken. Orange Dreamsicle is a the jam, by the by. Yep, my, my disc yeah, is Yeah, take, take the broken one? Okay. Yeah. That may have been my fault, too. Oh, my gosh. I could taste the orange immediately before I even bit into it. You can smell the orange so far. This is the only citrus one since the beginning that does not taste that cleaning supplies to me. Mm. Chocolate orange. So around here, which is to say the U.S., um, they make, or I've seen it before anyway, like fancy chocolate, like Gerard Deli or whatever it is, which is probably not made here, but it's sold here at least, that has like orange. Cream. Orange cream or like orange shavings or whatever they put in it. That make it taste delightful. Um, 
all of the it's like ten. It's all ten. Mm. Nine. I must say an eight on that one. I it's love it. It's chocolate. I love chocolate, but I'm gonna say nine. I'm not a huge orange fan. Well, it was good, so we're gonna go. That's just rude. Yeah, just because you're rude. <laughs> Next up, we have the... Can we do a savory one and then the sweet one? Sure. Can we just go, like, for this one yeah. and then we'll go back yeah. to that one? Yeah, Is this a savory one? It's a cookie. Lightly, oh. lightly spiced Dutch cookies okay, with peanut cool. rasp and sugar. I don't think I can do a licorice right now, though. Is that what the next thing is? Is licorice? Is that, that's this thing. Right? Yeah. Oh. We'll, we'll do it. We'll go for it. Mm. Now, these feel much softer. We are collectively not really predisposed to enjoying licorice. I don't um, mind it. I don't mind it either, but it's not like it's not something that I, I go for. What color is that pink? Pink. What is it supposed to be? Like a train or something? A bus? It's a double decker bus. It says dubbed decker. Double decker bus gummies. I wonder why all their gummies are vehicles. <clears throat> it's auto drop. Oh, is that the, oh, brand? the brand? Okay. Right? That makes sense. Then. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. Okay. Immediate response is. I like that one. The licorice isn't strong. Mm -mm. Which means that the other flavor can sort of permeate first, mm -hmm. and then you get little bits of licorice, um, which is... That's an eight for me. That's agreed. good. It's very good. I'm surprised. Mm. I'm surprised, frankly, um, <clears throat> that that is, in fact, the case. Next up, we have G uh, Jan Hagel. Jan Hagel. I don't know how you <laughs> <it>. Jan. <laughs> Hang on, let's do a. Oh, yes. Agreed. Uh, I saw that stuff stuck in my teeth. Already glad. Well, <laughs> you can't really get away from it. Oops. Well, that wasn't how it was supposed to go, but whatever. Yay! Oh, <clears throat> it's in like a tray of sorts. Oh, those look good. Man. These are next, too. Okay. Ooh, cheddar and raspberry? Hey, we're going to try it. That actually sounds amazing. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Smell that. What is that? That's... It's it ginger. Like it smells like cinnamon, though, too, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, it does. Like, like, like... It reminds me of the smell of cinnamon graham crackers, or like the the, the brown sugar graham crackers. There you go. Yeah, that's what it is. Spiced cookies with peanuts and pearl sugar. Hmm. Cinnamon, peanuts, pearl sugar. That's exactly what it is, yeah. Okay. Okay. Boop. Boop. Mm. That's Teddy Graham's right there with Tex peanuts on it. Texture's good. Flavor is good. It's very mm -hmm. appealing to, to look at if, it, if you're going sort of full food, foodie missness. Yeah. Um, it's delightful. This would be amazing dipped in coffee. It would. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's what we're having for breakfast tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Those with coffee. Score. That's a nine. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement. This I mean, one might be better than the Russia one. So far. I liked the Russia one a lot, though. We're not even halfway through it yet, so. We'll... That's true. We don't have anything lower than a seven. I know. So no, I had it. Didn't I have a six? Mm -mm. No, that's right. I didn't. Mm -mm. All right. Now, these I'm really excited about because 
their cheddar cheese and raspberry, and raspberry crispies, um, which is very exciting to me. I, I'm just like, um, <coughs> is this trade again? You want to put that in this? Like, right oh, yes. This box? Okay. I can do that. I appreciate you. <coughs> Smells just like cheese. I don't smell any raspberry. Did I get the broken one this time. Oh. I got it. There's a you. there's a full one underneath it. I'm just teasing. <laughs> it's the same. Oh my gosh, I'm so. Bummed. It's because it's made by the same. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> mm. Mm. Put it away before I eat them all. <laughs> mm. So, it has the lightness of like Danish cookies, mm. almost. Like the kind of initial crunch and then it melts like, like, like you had said earlier about the other one. And the cheddar and the raspberry just mesh so well together. I didn't taste a lot of raspberry. It's faint, but it's there. And maybe it's because we just had teddy bear graham crackers. <laughs> Next is a bag mm. that has a heart on it. What is that? Knuckle cousins? Canel, 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 can, canel cousins? Cinnamon candy melts. Ooh, oh. Okay. They've been a company since what? 18 something? 1918. 1918. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if these are going to be soft, so be careful. Oh, that I can tell. Oh they're my be gosh! Strong. They're okay. going to be very strong cinnamon. We can't bite into them. Okay. Very good. It's just as like a cinnamon, like like those soft peppermint candies that they make here. I don't know. It makes them. I'm sure many people do. Many companies do. But it's good. This uh, brand mm -hmm. translates to little cinnamon pillows. That's very funny. Mm hmm. When you suck on them for a couple minutes, then you can bite down into them. Mm-hmm. Just be careful. Yeah. Because it can hurt your tooth really loud. Yeah. For real. Hmm. And now the ear's kind of mean, too. Hmm. Itchy. Okay. Okay. Careful. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. Those are good. Seven? Seven. I mean, I would eat them again, yeah. and we're going to finish them. But they're not like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, but they're good. Yeah. Next up is... <laughs> Hang on a second. The other shoe pop-up. Yes. We're getting into savory stuff, I think, soon. I hope so. This mm. is... Spiced waffle cookie with caramel mm. or caramel. Mm. I'm gonna try and cleanse I this. I gotta try to open this up anyway. Just cleanse this cinnamon out. <sighs> oh. Man, I need a cleanser. You want a oh, cleanser? Oh, yes, please. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Just like coats your tongue and yumminess. Yeah, it do. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now. This is are, very heavy for a cookie. Yeah. Now these are obviously um, going to be 
Did you break it? No, because there's caramel in it. Yeah. Here. So these, just real quick. Yeah. Um, this is a sort of packaged version. <coughs> um, in the Netherlands, you can go at like some street vendors will make it fresh. Oh, yeah. I bet that's really it's good. Phenomenal. <laughs> so good. Next is the paprika teddy bears. Mm. <clears throat> Palm bar. Ow. I my finger. <clears throat> they do paprika a lot, don't they? <clears throat> that way. <clears throat> mm, hang on. Looks like we're going too savory, and then we're going to probably go right back into sweet stuff. Oh, these smell good. They smell amazing. They're so cute. They're little teddy bears. Palm de bear. They even have the little eyes and the little smiley. <clears throat> Interesting. Mm-hmm. They have a delightful crunch. Mm. They're the, they're the weird crunch, the mm -hmm. super weird awesome. Not US made crunch. Um, we need to put this away. They have a nice flavor too. Mm. Mm. Add a little bit of spice, but not too much. It's not hardly even noticeable. Those remind me, okay, mm. this is going to be a, a, a far throwback. Their use, Doritos used to make these uh, Doritos that were like, I think they called them like 3D. Oh, yeah. Because they were like puffed out. I remember those, yeah. And there was, a, I don't remember what the flavor was. It might have been like a, like a jalapeno or some kind of spicy-ish one yeah that reminds me very much of that flavor I don't know but this isn't as spicy no no sorry. like at all <clears throat> okay nice what do, what, what do we call uh, I'm one? calling that one a 10 for me <laughs> okay straight up 10 yeah yeah I'm with you next we have the cheesy poops which are called clo flippies. XXL flippies Chio. Chio. Oh, I didn't. I, I can't read. I'm <laughs> mm. Oh, hey, dear. It's your favorite. It's Cheesy Poofs. I told you it was Cheesy Poofs. Oh, yeah, you did. Sorry. Rudeness. <laughs> These look like... Regular Cheesy Poofs. Regular poops. Cheesy Poofs. Hmm. Now, I will say that they taste exactly like Cheetos, white cheddar. No, they don't. No? Mm -mm. What do you mean? So, the Cheetos here are very smooth, typically, as far as cheesy poofs. Which are a little grittier. These are grittier. In a good way. Like the, a, No, in, a, in an excellent way. Yeah. These don't have as much of a cheese flavoring. I can see that. You can't taste as many chemicals as what you can in things here. That's true. These are very light. They have the hint of cheese. 
these are my favorite so far. So that's a 10 for you. I'm going to go uh, 8. You don't like cheesy food texture? I, yeah, I have, a, I have a, a small issue with the texture of cheesy poofs. Um, which is not to say that it's bad, it's just not really my jam. <clears throat> All right. Next up, we have... Sugar Blaze Pretzels. Ooh. Kraken, Cracklingen. Cracklingen. Cracklingen, lingen, lingen. That opened the right way. <laughs> I am very much happy with this box. Oh, faux show. Sure. It's very good. These are uh, puff pastries. These aren't even like They're pretzels. pretzels. They look like pretzels. I don't think they are, really. They're like designed to look like pretzels. <clears throat> Okay. Eh. You got it? Yeah, oh yeah. Mm, the smell is... They smell like pretzels, bagged pretzels. Okay. You want to split one? Or you want to just... No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> How dare you suggest such a thing? How dare indeed. They're a little bland. I like the texture with their little plan. So, these are... You're dropping crumbs everywhere. I'm sure I am. Rude. So these, I agree, they do not have a lot by way of like extravagant flavor. That is true. But I, I don't but think they good. really need it. Um, the texture is good. The texture is kind of flaky. And, and actually, if you look at it, oh, it probably won't zoom properly but it's like a, it's like a, it's a flared like she said um hmm they are very dry too mm -hmm. but they're not horrible i'm thinking a seven on that one have yet to encounter anything below a seven. I know. Mm, those are good. I like those. Not my favorite thing so far, but. But they're really good. All right, next is the, the, real, the real heavy bag. This is hard candy, so it's gonna be a while for these. Okay. These are butter waffle hard candy. Now I was reading this as we were testing the other ones. This one is made with the real thing. Each sweet and creamy bite is packed with real dairy butter for a truly spot-on Dutch waffle experience. We'll try them, and then we'll... Uh-oh. They're shaped like waffles! That's adorable. Look how cute that is. Oh. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. It's like pancakes. Mm. It's like butter. With it's like pancakes. straight butter. With a no, little it's bit not. Of it. <laughs> no, it's not. No, seriously, I like this one. It does have a bit of that butter toffeenessness, which is good. It's maple maple syrup. It's. Yeah, it's it's made with maple syrup. It reminds me of Werther's. But better. But better. Oh. Eight for me. Mm. Eight for you. I'm gonna say it was seven. It's good. It's very good. Um, the initial taste is like butter. It's very butter. Mm -hmm. And then as you begin to uh, process it in your mouth, you get the other stuff that makes it very good. Hmm. You okay? Oh yeah. More car candies hmm. are next. There's more car candies? Oh. Huh? Mm -hmm. We need a palate cleanser. Yep. I don't know how you can't taste meat when you eat these. Mm -mm. I 
swear it tastes like meat to me. I don't taste that. I don't think the texture is different. But. <laughs> Mm. Like that pre-cooked sausage that you can get, like kielbasa. <laughs> mm. It's very good. I love those. All right, so this one. What are these? Yeah. Are these fire trucks? Or something? What's the? No, it's like a, it's like a. A tank truck. A fi... That's not a fire truck. It's like a cement truck or like a eighteen wheel. Salty tank trucks. Yeah. Tank truck. Tank call? truck. Yeah. Okay. Salty. Salty tank truck. Oh, wait, wait. What is. Just... Okay. These smell interesting. They're kind of like. Marshmallow. These are a little softer. Um. I couldn't just because they're bigger, frankly. They have more licorice taste, too. Let's see other flavor in there. Is it just like butter again? The sort of butteriness? There's toffee flavor, salt flavor, salt ta tank trucks, and luxury licorice cement trucks. Hmm. These, these are a little... Mm -hmm. I can see that being a little salty. Well, there's two other flavors in here. Yeah. We'll try those later. We will. This one was the licorice one. It was good. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, I don't I don't usually go for licorice. Um, I'm going to say... Those are good. Eight. What do you think? Seven for you? Uh, or eight? I'll go eight, too. Because they are... You, I, I, I agree. If those are that good, the other ones will be better. Yes. <clears throat> We're on to the hard candies. We're on to the hard candies. Oh, right in front of me. Hard candies. Hard candies. Yeah. Hard candies. Yeah. Oh, Dutch Best Praline. Deary. Oh, hazelnut cream, cereal, crispies, or cappuccino cream. I think, I think we need the green, the green label. The green. Okay. You know what? We're going to do this. Yes. Yes. I thought those were green. Uh, no, see. We don't have any green. Oh, well maybe it's these. I don't know. There's gotta be these. We don't have any green. We huh? have red. Is there... Oh, these are cappuccino. These are creamy crisp. We don't have any hazelnut ones. Really? Ew, I wanted hazelnut. There's more creamy crisp. Let's try the creamy crisp. Okay. I mean, we're going to try both, I think. Okay. I reckon. I, okay, which, okay. I have the Question. Red. Okay. That's what I was going to ask. We do like half, half yeah. these? Half these. Okay. Okay, so this one's cappuccino. Ooh. So like a big old chocolate ball. Ready? Mmm. 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 Be ready for that one. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I love chocolates mm. that have kind of like the Ferrero Rochers. Oh. Yeah, that have that kind of soft nougat chocolate in the center. It's so good. Mmm. Mm. Right? Wow. So again, it's hard to go wrong with chocolate. Mm. I think I like the coffee one better. Same. Just because it's very nice. It's a very nice, uh, well-rounded ness ness. Um, it's very it's very strong at first, but it has such a good taste if you like coffee. <clears throat> if yeah. you don't like coffee, you're not going to like that one. But if you like coffee, you're going to like it, and it has a delightful aftertaste. Okay, so the cappuccino -y ones, which will be right here, I guess, we're going to put as 10, I would assume, because they were amazing. Is that right? And then the red ones... Wait, wait, 
hang on. That's not the red ones. That are the, that's oh. these. There's three assorted ones on these. Oh, gotcha. I'm sad that we didn't get any of them. I know, me too. Freaking hazelnuts like the best. Uh, oh well, it's okay. That okay, kind of... cool. So. Okay. Okay, that's it fine. It was good. I'm. I mean, I think overall, even the like variety ones are very good. No, no. I think I think our next one is the milk. The one that's labeled milk. Unless you want to save those. Oh. Kind of longer tootsie roll looking ones. These are straight up soft milk candy. Okay. It's like a milk bottle. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Doesn't really have a smell. It's like you're eating chalk. <laughs> Hard at first, as it warms up in your mouth, it softens up. Hmm. Um, you know what it tastes like? Rather than, there's a little bit of texture variance. A little bit of like the, the vanilla Tootsie Roll? Vanilla Tootsie Roll. Mm -hmm. That's exactly where I was going. Slight. Very slight. Texture variance. Um, I'm going to have to go my only six so far. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. It's not like, this is the greatest thing ever. I agree. I agree with that. <sighs> we'll eat them. Mm -hmm. But it's not like we're like, man, I could really go for a milk stick. But... <laughs> <sighs> okay. those so much next up are the, the Holland Hopis that's the last one. Oh, is it yeah oh, I'm, I was looking at the book here okay sorry my next bad. up is Le Bruteau Citron yeah sour Which lemon are... hard candy lemon hard candy wonderful sour lemon heart okay Let's... Mm. oh you can tell it's sour too it's like a warhead oh this is gonna be fun we're gonna make funny faces for you guys hang on let me open mine first. <laughs> mm. Like warheads. It's sour at first. And then becomes sweet. It becomes a nice lime. That hurts my tongue. A nice, uh, sweet, like, lime, lime flavor. It's lemon, though. Whatever. Lemon How long does it take to get through the... Not long. I mean, I'm already through it. <laughs> you funny. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, mm. it breaks up pretty easy, too. You there yet? <laughs> mm. Okay. It's good. You think there's like cleaner, don't you? Is that a five for you? Or a four? Four? I don't like that one. Okay. By say, far, that's the worst one for me. I'm gonna say six. But I like that kind of stuff. Um, mm. Yeah. Bringing out the cheesy poops. Yeah. You didn't have to take it. Oh, come on, it's <laughs> not that bad. It's so rude. I'm just being sassy. As always. <gasps> Indeed. <clears throat> Alright, next up. Just a little water. 
Mm, I did not like those mm -mm. at all. This is also Napoleon. Is it this one? Mm -hmm. Is it is it sour too? I don't know. Hard black licorice with salty filling. Okay, but it's brown, and it doesn't want to open. This is hard candy. We're not going to be able to bite in this very easily. Okay. Well, we'll just try it and see how it is. Hmm. Hmm. Are, we, are they sure that this, this is black licorice? Hard black licorice. It's um, salty. I see. Okay. It has salt, salt in it. I can see that for sure. And honestly, it's like just a faintly sweet, salty taste. We suggest sucking on the sweet shell until you're fully prepared for the pungent burst of salt in the center. Wait, it's saltier in the center? Mm -hmm. My goodness. It's I'm actually like, very excited for that. It's already like super salty. Um, mm, I really like this one. Mm, nope. <laughs> you don't like it, do you? <laughs> mm. It's not for me. Where's my paper? Where'd my paper go? You're dropping things, dearie. I'm dropping things. Mm. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Mm. I don't. Ugh. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna spit it out for now, but I'm gonna finish mine later. Wait. <laughs> you are welcome to those. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. All right, what's next? Oh, we gotta score that one. Oh. Three. Seven for me. Three for you, really? It's horrible. I don't like it. It's terrible. Okay. Now it's these. Now it's these little yeah. These are hard candies, too. Okay. We'll try them out. These are coffee-flavored um, hard candy. I do like coffee-flavored hard candies. I'm very excited. Well, it's the right color. That's for sure. Yeah. It's like a horse pill. <laughs> it is. Blech. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Mm. Mm. This one is smooth. Way better. You can get choked on this very easily. Way better. That's a weird thing that guys do. What? A stupid, like, ball gazer. It's weird. It's very strange. I never really understood why. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think this is our last one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it on now because it's real good. Mm. Um, All right. What are we scoring it though? Mm, eight for me. Yeah, I can see that. I'm gonna go nine actually because. Um, it's it's a real close. I think you said eight. Uh, it's a real. May I see? Yeah. Real close one for me. With the, <clears throat> I love um, coffee flavored hard candies. Hmm. What if they actually have caffeine in them? I don't know. Are we on to the uh, trivia, or do you want to decide, like, best, second best? I think we should decide best and second best. And then worst and weirdest? Mm-hmm. Well, the worst is easier. The worst for me was the lemon. That was the worst for me. The worst for you... Was that gross licorice junk. The salty licorice. Yeah. Yeah. So those are easy. The weirdest... I'm gonna have to go with the black licorice hard candy. I was 
was actually going to go with the mm. buttered mints. Oh, you know what? The buttered hard candy is the I'm weirdest. With you. I'm with you. Yeah. Because it's such a unique flavor. Not bad, it's just weird. Mm -hmm. Best by far that we didn't get enough of are these babies right here. Mm-hmm. By far. I want to get like best. a big bag of them. Those are the best. And then the second best for me would... Mm -mm. No, I like the... Oh, yes. I like these. Those are the second best. I think mine are the triangles. Which are basically the same flavor. They're both paprika -ish. That's your That's your second best? Yeah. Cool. Is there trivia stuff in there? There is. Okay. I am done with this. Okay. For now. I'm gonna keep on with mine. This is real good. All right. Did you know that 30% of all? By the way, we're done with the the taste testing. If that's all you wanted to see, we love you guys. Keep on keeping on. Oh yes. But we're gonna yes. move on. What's up? Before coming to America, the Pilgrims first landed in the town of. Is it Leiden, L-E-I-D-E-N, in the Netherlands and stayed there for 11 years, according to some historians. That very first Thanksgiving in the New World was inspired by Dry October, Dry October, the mm. Netherlands' annual feast commemorating the Dutch victory over Spain in October of 1574. Interesting. Very neat. Okay. Where are the answers? Okay. Number one, true or false? Another name for the Netherlands is Holland. I'm going to say true. I don't, uh, true? I don't know. What, what's the answer? False. Oh, oh. Holland is the name of a region in the Netherlands and refers to only two of the country's 12 provinces. Cool. That is cool. Number two, the Dutch are known for being the blank people in the world tallest shortest most active or most intelligent i would say most active because don't they bike most places they do frequently so i'd say c what do you say i was gonna say tallest tallest yeah and you're right i will say this <coughs> there because we went to a couple of different places in europe and they're like you can tell who's a tourist and who's not because the people of the Netherlands are like beautiful. Even the dudes are beautiful. It's weird. It's the weirdest thing. The yeah. city of Anst Amsterdam is built on boats, wooden poles, sand, or ancient ruins. Wooden poles. Well, it's got to be wooden poles. Wooden poles. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, river so like like waterways in Amsterdam. Yeah. Their soil is made up of thick, wet clay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Number four. There are more blank in the Netherlands than there are people. <laughs> Windmills, pancake restaurants, bridges, or bicycles. It has to be bicycles. I gotta say bicycles. Bicycles. There's about 18 million bicycles in the Netherlands. Number five. What two items... Do Dutch children hang on trees after they pass their school exams? Their backpacks, wooden shoes, Dutch flags, or orange socks? Well, backpacks make sense uh, because it's school oriented. And then I would say Dutch flags. Dutch flags. So A and C? Yeah. Hey, we're right. I think we can just kind of see all the answers. I'm not looking at them. Are you looking at the answers? <laughs> you are cheating. Rudeness. I'm a cheater monkey. You are. Your grandmother's right. You cheated those card games, don't you? No. Mm -hmm. I sure don't. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. proves it right here, right now. <laughs> okay. If adjusted for inflation, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, the Dutch East India Company will be worth more than which modern day company? Amazon, mm. Walmart, Costco, or Sears? Uh, Walmart? With more than? Uh huh. If adjusted for inflation. I don't know. It might be Amazon. I'm going to say Walmart. I'm going to say Costco. What? 
Wait. No, all the way above? Number seven. Oh yeah, it is. It's all the above. Wow. Okay. Wow. Cool. Did I skip one? I skipped number six, and I know <laughs> the answer to it now because I got really confused. Mm, no. Okay. There's a police force in the Netherlands that uses trained blank to find criminals: pigeons, wasps, rats, or cats. We we know that it it's is rats. rats. That's which is cool. The police force in Rotterdam region of the Netherlands has been training an elite group of sewer rats since 2013. The, <clears throat> the rats' incredible sense of smell allows them to locate drugs, gunpowder, and explosive with 95% accuracy. And they can do it in just two seconds as opposed to two hours it would take the lab technicians to do the same. And they're about the size of house cats. Are they? <laughs> sewer rats are big. Are they? I don't. I don't know. That's crazy. No. So we have two more okay. questions. Yeah. Anyway. The Dutch yeah, top it. their morning toast with hot sauce, chocolate sprinkles, green olives, mm. or applesauce. Oh, well, that sounds pretty good, except for just hot sauce. Green olives actually sounds very interesting. Sounds good. I'm gonna say green olives. What are you saying? Yeah, let's do it. Chocolate sprinkles. Chocolate. Of course it's chocolate sprinkles. Chocolate, yeah. <clears throat> okay, and a bonus question. In 2012, a $176,000 bridge was constructed in the central Netherlands for which purpose? Hint, since its construction, it's only been used five times. <laughs> a, to decorate a portion of the sky for Christmas. That would be five times since 2012. Mm -hmm. To make a section of a canal wheelchair accessible. To build a marathon route that would not obstruct traffic patterns. Hmm. Or to help squirrels cross a busy highway. <laughs> a seems like the best answer. A would be very interesting. How would they decorate the sky, though? Um, it's clearly not... The wheelchair. Accessible. If it's only been used five it's only times. Been used five times. Clearly not that one. Uh, I think it's a marathon route. You think so? Okay. To help squirrels cross a busy highway. Wow. Yep. This bridge is for the squirrels. The bridge That's was fun. constructed over a busy highway between, I don't know how to pronounce that forest and. A something else park <laughs> so that squirrels can cross safely. That's cool. hilarious. Let me see. I'm going to try to pronounce it. I'm going to probably butcher it, but that's okay. It's the very last one right here. Through Hogsabaz Forest and the Oosterbeek Park. Oosterbeek. Okay. This was a good one. It was. I have very thoroughly enjoyed it. Ooh, before we do, by the way, last month we did forget to do the hint and talk oh, about the hint. Yes. We need to find out find the hint. We are going to find the hint. I just want to see if there's anything else in here. Really quickly. All right, there is a recipe. Hootspot. Hootspot. Six large potatoes peeled and quartered. Eight large carrots peeled and quartered. Three mm -hmm. yellow onions diced. One pound chunk of smoked bacon. Mm -hmm. Two cups of water. Two tablespoons of butter. And one teaspoon of salt. And you can look at the recipe and pause it if need be. Go over and up a little bit. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. And I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, the December one is a couple of different places. It is. It's a. Um, it's like a couple of different countries all at the same time. It's like. That's what we saw on their Facebook page, yeah. But we'll see because so the clue is on the back to next month's box. Okay. Next month, there'll be dragons and firework displays. You'll hear bagpipes and carolers singing Veseli 
Venoce. Venoce. Yeah. When the holidays roll around, it's always more fun to celebrate this special season with everyone. So it's going to be multiple countries, more than likely from what we've gathered from past. I wonder if it is like a couple of snacks, depending upon your box, of course. I wonder if it's like a couple of snacks from each of the countries they did that year. Ooh, that would be cool. We'll see. I guess see. we'll see. So, we um, that has us done, I do believe. Um, and we are good to go. We are. Did good you advice. know that the Netherlands is home to 991 windmills? I did not. I, I am now. Mm hmm. I really enjoyed this one. This yes, has been good. Same. Russia is still my favorite, but this is good. We will see you next month for more doodads and we snackage. Will. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. That's right. Bye.